Charlie, and you're watching Discovered at Reading. Uh, 7 out of 10. No, it's 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was well good. <laughs> Overwhelming, as I've said. It was pretty exciting. It was uh, a very unique experience and we had a good time. Yeah, it's something that you wouldn't you know, do every day, is it? Like, I mean, it's not like you go, you go on tour and you play like venues every day and everyone's like doing the same stuff. Yeah, it's a really definitely a different experience to anything else you've ever done. The adrenaline levels were pretty high after playing, let's say that. It was pretty insane. As soon as they chopped off, my whole body just like fell apart. <laughs> and my arms came off. Because you're laying in the air. I was getting yeah. told to put me back together. Like, Popped it back in again. Took me in. It's always happened, isn't it? I can't be, it's always, yeah, it's always been a thing. But you just try, you just try not to think about it too much, do you? Like, you know, if you're an open, if you're open mind person, you like everything. You know what I mean? You like all, all yeah. genres. Music's you know music. I mean? Yeah, it doesn't you know. matter what they call it. Mm. Pop punk is pop punk. It was meant something different two years ago. It means something different. Two we years get time. called everything. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Like, we don't care. Yeah, we just, we just want it. Off the clan. Last cut. All we sorts just want to play. Stuff. Like we all <laughs> sorts of stuff. We just want to play music. We don't really care about like, what how we get branded. You know, like. But you know, if anyone was to, it's the same with punk community. Like, you know, oh, punk, punk band. We've got a bit to go back. Are you pop punk hardcore? Beat down band. Oh, shut up. Go away. Are you title fight cool? The story so far cool. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Voice, so I couldn't sing the next day at least. The first time I went to a record <laughs> festival when I was like 17, I watched The Fall, you know, Marky Smith. I watched The Fall completely oh, just fail on stage. It was amazing, it's so amazing it was so miserable to watch. You, you know, Marky Smith's got that thing about he turns the amps up and stuff like that, and he, and he messes around with people's stuff when they're playing, he gets abandoned. But he just really didn't want to be there, and, and and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Just watching a 50-year-old man play uh, to a, like prominently 17-year-old audience, and just be like <laughs> for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that was the best festival moment for me. <laughs> I only started going to festivals when I started the band. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we've ever really had. Bad one experience. We have a well good time at festivals. We always have a really good time. Um, I don't know. Oh, 2000 trees. When you had to do that acoustic set. Oh, yeah. And that woman, there's that, like girl, that, that girl started on me. Yeah. Like, there's, there's like they did this little acoustic set after the <laughs> band's playing, like they got their own little stage and just get you because Tom was going a little go. Before, there's one guy was playing, they were throwing these kids like this guy bottles. Throwing bottles at him and stuff. So I, I was there waiting to go on, watching this all happen. I was like, <laughs> It ended up me just yeah. having to go at them and turn left off and then we just didn't do it. Yeah, that was it, you had to. Pretty that was a bit of a weird one, but it wasn't that bad, but you know what I mean? Like, that it still felt works. bad at the time. I could have just shouted and thrown bottles into the players. It's like, like, I don't really want to do that. It's great when you play a festival with them because you just get to chill and like, have, you have beers and that stage. Like, exactly, it's different. It's different to in it in some perspective that is in a band and they're just like balling about. I've, I've never been that person. I've never been that person who's just bought a ticket to a festival, gone to a festival. Never. You have. Yeah, yeah, I never did. I don't think Max ever did either. Uh, bring your own bob roll. Good job. Yourself? Well, yeah. Uh, water. And water has so much water. Bring so much more water than you think you need. Yeah. Hey, we've got the boot of the car, don't even start. Yeah. Oh, it's like, no, it's you know, you're a veteran, oh, right? oh, no, we don't, we don't need water, we've got three crisps and Colesburg. Oh, well done. <laughs> we've got crisps and bread, so we've got to eat the whole weekend as well. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to eat loads of dry food all weekend and not drink any water. The worst flavour in the morning is that after a day of only drinking booze and swapping from like, beers and spirits at midday, Getting through the day and smoking cigs and only eating crisp sandwiches, and waking up the next day and it feels like someone has actually booed in your mouth. <laughs> like, actually booed in your mouth. Throwing dust. So don't do that. Brush your teeth before you go to bed. Well, that's good, idea. That's a good idea. Getting 
the in the crowd of dance when the band's on. Because mm-hmm. I know enjoy the band, yeah. man. Just enjoy, enjoy music. Don't just like um, just sit and tend to get wasted the whole festival. So what? Get wasted, but also go and watch bands. And like you're at a festival, you're a music festival. Why would you sit in the tent? Oh, we won't. We just came for the experience. What? Sure. Just go and watch a good band. Like, so if you just want to go get into some camp, new music, it costs like thirty quid to go. <laughs> Two hundred and forty quid for a ticket to Reading. Like. Obviously, don't just not watch the bands. Yeah. <laughs> so go and watch the bands. <laughs> Puke your shit all over yourself. And yeah, stuff. easy. Possibly like like getting. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> on, the, on the first night of like, the first heavy festival I went to, uh, there was a guy who came in first night, hadn't even started yet, got really wrecked, and started like trying to pull the seats off the toilets and throwing them out. So he threw about three seats out. And we were like, yeah, everyone's getting excited about it. And obviously, the security came. And he just got kicked out of the festival before any of the band had started. So if you're gonna get drunk, don't try and remove the seats in the toilets. <laughs> Stop trying to spoon me, sorry Hayley Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hayley Williams. I don't know. I don't know, like, maybe like Mike Dunn from like Green Day and he'd show me some sick like bass patterns and actually teach. In the tent? Me. Yeah, like I'd actually learn to play bass properly. Yeah. I just go, yo, security, can you just like, open, <laughs> open the back for me so I can get my phone? <laughs> I want to go, all yes! This, all this blue water just swoosh it out. <laughs> and there it is. I, I don't think I would. It depends what it was, actually. If you hoped it was empty, you go on. Wash your hands after, innit? I would just make calls from incident, like outside the toilet on another phone. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> such a good idea. No, I'm stuck in the toilet! <laughs>